Welcome to my next instalment on Fronter Guides. In this guide we'll be looking at the Today page. The Today page is very useful in Fronter as it centralises everything on it in one place. For example, if I'm a member of a room and there are discussions going on in that room, I can view them in my Today page. This is useful as you may be a member of numerous rooms and it would be silly to have to navigate into every room to see any of the messages. It's up to you how you set up your Today page and you can decide what you have going into it. In this video I will show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm now going to navigate to my Today page and I'm going to click the, top, the item in the top left and my Today page opens up and in it you can see all the current items I have which are filtering into it. So here I've got my email um, below that any discussion contributions of any rooms will pop up in this little box I've got an RSS feed here um, if I scroll down I've got messages and just next to the messages I've got my stickies um, this is quite useful G again it goes back to centralizing everything I don't need to go into my separate messages folder to check any stickies I may receive because they will pop up just in my today page it's completely up to you how you set up your today page. You can decide what you have going into it. So I want to show you how to do that. Right, the first thing you must do is scroll right down to the bottom of the page. And when you get to the bottom, in the bottom right hand corner there will be an option that says customize today. And I'm going to click that and open up the page. So what it will show you is it will show you your current display mode and you can see that I've got the third one selected here which tells me I've got area 1 and 2 next to each other and area 3 below them and just below that you can it tells you what tools you've got going into which areas so I've got my email and discussion contributions and my messages going into area 1 again it's up to you how you decide you want your page laid out now to add a new tool into any particular area, on the right hand side you can see each area has got an option that says new tool. Okay, So if I click that, you will see that a page opens up and I've got a complete selection of tools which are available to me. Okay, So if I wanted to add in resources to area 1, I'd put a little check mark next to it. I would scroll down and I would click save. And that should now appear in area 1 and we can see that just there. If we weren't happy with that tool and we wanted to get rid of it, if you have a look at each tool they have an empty box next to them and the reason that is is this is the option that you need to select if you want to get rid of a tool. So for resources if I put a little check mark next to it, scroll down to the bottom and then you can see I've got a remove option here which I'm going to click so once I click that you should see that the resource option or the resource tool disappears from area 1 Okay. Right. I want to add a tool because I want you to see how it changes the actual today page so I'm going to select new tool and in there I'm going to choose um, something I don't have tests put a little check mark in it click save and now that should have updated area 1 and I'm going to go back into my today page and we should see the tests on my actual today page if I scroll down there you can see that the tool here has been added just here ok and it's got no content got no content because there are no tests ok so that's it for the to today page I hope you've enjoyed the third installment of the Fronter Guides